Yo, what's up, fish homies? Ali here with 3D. We're about to go to Turner's to get some gear. It's a little windy, so we're gonna try and get some heavier weights. Taylor's been out with us like two or three times, and we always take him at like the worst times, and he still hasn't caught a fish, and he's never caught a fish before in his life. So we're going to the local pond. We're gonna hit up some bluegill and maybe throw out a bait and like try and get like a catfish or maybe like try to get our first carp or something. I don't know. But we're definitely gonna go for bluegill. Plan is going to Turner's, like I said. Then we're going to the pet store doing like a pet store challenge. Cause last time we caught him on cricket, so we're gonna buy like whatever we think will catch him and see what works the best. And then we're going to our friend's house and then we're going to the pond. Gang, 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 gang. Gang, gang. So we'll see you there in like one second for you, but a long time for us. Well, we got the bait and then we left it at my house. So now we're going back, swooping up the bait, and then we're going to the pond. Finally got the bait back at the house. We got the crickets, but we had to go back and get the mealworms. Those are in the Turner's bag there. So we're finally on the way. Here we go. One more pit stop. Your boys can make it all the way to the pond. All righty then. We finally got all the equipment necessary to go bluegill fishing. Like I said, we might try and get a catfish or something, but we probably won't do that because it's really hot. We're probably only gonna chill for a little. But anyways, we're on the way. We're about less than a mile away. So here we go, boys and girls. Well, I guess you're not supposed to fish here, but everyone does. Maybe it's just like right here or something. Looks like there's a guy in our spot over there. Hopefully we can snake in there and get it going. Guess who it is in the fishing spot? Jason in the cut. Your boy Jason, two sharks, the killer. He didn't even tell us he was coming, that little sneaky devil. He's probably catching them already. He doesn't know we got the that juice though. Your boy got his first fish finally. All in his loan. Yeah, dude, get that fish off for your first time, bro. You're gonna just like put the fishing pole against your leg or something. And then just Careful of his spikes though. Like grab him on the back. Other way, down. Grab, go from the eyes down so he doesn't spike you. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good way to hold him too. Yeah. Any pliers? So you get a, up close. First fish ever. There he goes. <laughs> yeah. Got him on a drop shot. Though. Yeah. Using what? That cricket right here. That's the juice. This guy hooked up his own cricket and got another one back to back. Bring him in. Nice. Got it? No. Oh, oh. quick release. He's good. Dude, this guy got the smallest fish ever. So the guy who's been fishing for his first time catches every fish. Me and Jason haven't even got one yet. It's a little baby bluegill, bro. Micro fishing at its finest. Anyone who can catch fish that's like two inches or less, hit us up. I don't think, I don't think many people are doing that right these days. <laughs> That's the nice conditions we're fishing in. Just a little floating trash, you know, lining the shore. Little uh, styrofoam shooting out of the water hole over there. You know, it's all good. We still caught them. It's got a couple turtles hanging out in the old dirty grass. They can like float on top of it, it's so dirty. There's another one right there chilling. The old Alondra Pond scenery. Some carp fishers. All right, guys and girls. Uh, I've been trying to catch 
fish here since I was a little guy and I've never got a bass. I know this guy's only about probably five or six inches, but this is like a lifetime goal. No. Uh, Jason's oh. only got one bass out of here and I don't know anyone else that's ever got one out of here. So I'm pretty stoked. It's like one of those, this is the smallest bass I've ever caught, but it's the most stoked I've ever been on catching a bass. I caught it on a drop shot, got these new slim weights, got some super small hooks. I don't even know, I'm just talking, I'm so happy that I got half freaking right bass. Right? Yeah, it's a, it, it's a, it's off bait, not plastics, yeah. but it was a half meal one. I'm gonna let this guy go. Still counts as a bass? Yep, a large amount. Should take a picture with our thing, dude. That's All right, ready? Yeah. All right, since there's not very many of these in here, I'm gonna let them go as well as I can. This water's super disgusting, but I'm touching it for the bass. Go big. Here it goes. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but these little Canadian geese here got three little babies, and two of them are white. I've never seen those guys with white babies before. I almost want to just pick one up and bring them home. That's so tight. So we had a little successful trip getting some bluegill. Well, the newbie Taylor killed it and me and Jason just did whatever. Yeah, it's that beginner's luck. Even though he's been three times, he didn't catch anything. Third time's a charm though, that's what they say. Anyways, we're rigging up to go to the old trusty rat beach as we're trying to get Taylor on a saltwater fish so he can get a freshie and a salty in the same day for the first time. Go get some footage right now. Looks like there's some bait in the water. You see that? We're about to get in on that. We made it out here, me, Jason, and Taylor. We went fishing earlier for blue kills at the crappiest lake ever, and we actually caught some stuff. And now we're out here at Rapids trying to hook up in the salt water. We got two poles out. Jason's messing with that one. We got one over here, and the sun is setting. Hopefully we get a bite soon. We're using squid, and we figured out a little way to get like a wine cork on the line, so we're trying to fish like a little suspended bait this time to, to try and stay away from the lobster. So we'll see what happens. It's really windy, so hopefully you guys can hear this. It looks like we got some here. It's been about 15 minutes. We might be getting crabbed up, but we used the cork, so Looks like it got off probably. Or it's something small. We'll check back in when it gets back, if it is something. Yeah. So obviously we got bit by something. We're gonna put on another squid and throw it right back out there. Yeah, that was a See full squid there. That now it's like just, a, more of a bite. here, show them the cork. So that's just a little wine cork we cut and put on there to keep the bait floating off the ground. So hopefully that's not lobsters and it's something else. All right guys, Spencer's got a fish on, right at sunset again. There See what go. he's got? Looks like a little cali. A little calico, maybe. Oh, what is this? It's a snapper. A surf perch. Nice. Dude. Oh, oh, that's a nice one, dude. That's My a nice one. I some tacos tonight, uh -huh. homies. Hey, bros. But check out this fish finder's wine cork real quick, bro. <laughs> That is a DIY if you want to get Fish finder's ingenuity, here, dude. Yep, if you want to get wine cork, inline, <laughs> uh, inline wine corks, they're 10 for a dollar, hit us up. We're gonna get the surf perch off here and throw them back. Spencer just got a Sargo, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a one pound, seven ounce. We're gonna start weighing them now, so. Yeah, so we can keep track. It's a pretty good size one. It's not giant or anything, but just for fun, we're weighing them, so. Yeah. We're gonna let this guy go now. We might keep him. We're making that decision now. All right, guys, here we go. It's gonna be a bad release because there's a lot of waves. <laughs> Oh, almost again, dude. Oh, almost got wet. <laughs> All right, so we just got back. It's almost midnight. 
once again we forgot to do an outro Jason and Taylor just left so they can't say goodbye but goodbye from them and goodbye from me peace out fish homies we will catch you on the flip side